around. <laughs> That's how you pick up girls at the gym right there. Strongman is a classic test for people to find out really who the strongest person in the world is. We pull planes, we pick up cars, huge atlas stones. My body is a machine, it's a vessel for work. If you want your car to run well, you put good fuel in it. Same with your body. I have six meals a day. If I don't eat enough, I get shaky, I get headaches. You know, my body is running on a level now where it's used to having good fuel. So I cut that supply off and my body just revolts. I can eat this by myself, easy. I travel around the world and lift up heavy, weird objects and that's, that's my job, you know? An average day will do yoke walks, keg toss, you know, tire flips and atlas stones. And basically anything gritty and hard, heavy, Weird stuff around the gym, the yard, the house, the barn, you know, we pick it up, we'll move it around and see if we can. All right, this tire right here, this is 1,200 pounds. Honestly, it's a brutal tire. We call it Bubbles because we like to have like a sweet name for such a torture device right here. And I mean, I'm 6'8", 400 pounds, and it makes me look small. I am by far the strongest man on the West Coast, by far, there's no competition. Technically at the moment right now, I'm second in America, although I am working my ass off to take first place. This is the most flattering angle I have right here, like this. It's perfect. I am the American record holder in log press overhead, and that is at 455 pounds. Back to your head, there you go. So push it. I can do a lot more, actually, but I just haven't had to do it in the show. This is basically what I've earned since I've been in this house. This I got in Washington. Uh, this was given to me in Russia, and this right here. This is from China. Do you guys eat right before you come to the gym and work out? Yeah, yeah. I, right before I just got done eating a cup and a half of rice and a bunch of meat. Tommy doesn't eat though. Tommy's got the svelte, so like he tries to keep the figure. I think he starves himself and then he eats right after he works out, but then he pukes right after he eats. It looks great on him though. I mean, show him your abs, Tommy. Come on, show him the abs. I'll compare mine to yours. I'm good. I see. If I had the eating routine you did, I might look a little bit better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it though. When you go to the gym and your body's fueled up on good foods with nutrients and protein, when you get to the point in your workout where you're working hard, you're hitting the last reps, you're burnt out, there's something else in there driving you. Instead of reaching down and there's nothing there, you've got some power left. All right, it's time to go eat. A normal trip to the grocery store, I'll go through and I'll get my vegetables. Spinach is my favorite green. If it worked for Popeye, it could work for Strongman. I'm stocking up on rice. This bag right here probably lasts me um, about a week, you know, if that. That's fatty meat right there, but it's all good. That's the shape of Miley Cyrus's butt. It goes down like this. Perfect. If you could go like that, that's her music video. On a typical day, I'll consume anywhere between 15 and 20,000 calories. All right, eggs, eggs, eggs. Like this right here will last me a day normally. Um, I, I eat eight to 10 eggs for breakfast. I eat boiled eggs for snacks throughout the day. So, lots of eggs. Running out of room. We gotta get a ton of meat. I'll do two of these for one lunch. Four of these. Nice, nice, nice. This is basically gonna take all of their pork. All oh, this turkey. And this one will be my meat for the day. Basically cleaning out the meat section. Okay? Everything's good, yeah, I think I took all your meat over here. It's all good. I get people asking me for pictures a lot. Apparently I'm kind of like the town sideshow. You want me to put you on my shoulder? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna pick you up. Okay. All right, you ready? <laughs> all right. <laughs> no. no. I get paid to be the freak show. I'm fine with that, as long as I'm getting paid. But it's when people want to throw peanuts at me, then I'm like, eh. I, I work, I'll be the freak show for money. In my opinion, it's just as hard to maintain a healthy diet as it is to compete in strongman. In strongman, you've got to train your body. You've got to be physically strong and you've got to work for that. But with your diet, you've got to be mentally strong. I don't ever get anything really frozen from these aisles. 
because all of this stuff is just basically fluff. There's no substance of it. It's just fats, carbs. It tastes great, but it's not good for you. For me to change over to eating plain, clean food, to basically trick myself into being happy with the way that I eat, it, it took some work in, it took some doing. I am gonna eat that, yeah. Did you used to be a bodybuilder. I am a, a, a strong man. I just came from the gym. Nice, yeah, nice, so see? So you basically do what I do, but you don't eat all the meat. Well, I'm not older than you are. No, what yeah. are you, 25, 26? Oh, God, I love this. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm Nick. 64. That is awesome. I really respect yeah. that. That's cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Best to you. Yeah, have a good one. You too. I'd hit that. <laughs> All right. This is definitely the hard part about eating all this food is you got to pay for it. I'll fill up a cart and, you know, a lot of times I'll end up spending several hundred bucks. Total for today is $450.59. It's a little bit much. Yeah. I guess it's what it takes, though. Tonight, well, the family's gonna get together. We're gonna make my pasta to shoot, though. It's got your two different types of noodles, two sauces to two salsas, then sausage and your beef, and it's a pretty good meal. I think I'm a great cook. I've been making this dish myself for a long time. My dad made it when I was a kid, and his dad made it for him. You know, it seems like every time the recipe gets passed down to a new generation, it changes a little bit. So now we're grilling, got our sausage going, got our beef going. We are rocking and rolling. The true tradition of the pasta is not the food, it's the gathering of people. Every single thing that we're doing here today, we, we do all the time. So Amanda does the bread, everyone else is on dessert except for Wendy makes the really good drinks. This has been done since before I was born. I've been doing it for a very long time. Yeah. Yes, so since I, you've been around. Yes. So everyone's kind of like perfected their art and we bring it all together and, and that's how we mash up the food. It's the family getting together and being together. That's the whole tradition. This is my heart right here. All right, here you go, you guys your mama. When I compete and uh, like to watch a film and stuff, Emily sends me videotapes of the baby watching the TV screaming, go Bobby, go Bobby, you know? Cause to them I'm Uncle Bobby. Tell them, kiss off, fool. The bad part about cooking with a giant beard and no net is that sometimes you get hair in the water. It smells so good. I love the smell of sausage while it's cooking, you know? It's the best smelling meat there is. You know, it's gotta taste good and it's gotta have a high property of protein. This is a really good meal for a strong man. So, you know, the fact that it tastes good makes it just super food for me. Robert doesn't actually know this, but he eats about seven meals a day because he gets up in the middle of the night and has, has a snack. My wife, she'll eat about three quarters of a pound of meat a day. I'll eat three and a half pounds. I eat basically exactly what he eats. I just eat a lot less. So, I mean, he just eats way too many calories and too much food for me. So I just, I eat like a quarter of what he eats in a day. Can an average person eat like this? An average person could definitely eat like this, but then they wouldn't be an average person for very long. You're gonna be super chunk, you know? You know do the truffle shuffle by yourself at the house. My dad's gonna be like, why do you have two different noodles in there? Well, you know you're gonna have to do this. You're gonna ha you know you gotta do that. Yeah, dad, I know. Wait till he sees this. I'll have a couple phone calls, say, you know you didn't cook that right. <sighs> nice and greasy. I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough room in this pot right here. We might have to pull some MacGyver stuff. Hey, Wendy, is there anything bigger than that? Okay, cool. She wanted to make me look foolish on film as best she could, and now that she has succeeded, we've got the bigger pot. This is a strong man pot right there. That is perfect. There we go. Now all that's left is to add the sauces. It looks pretty much done. All right, everybody, let's eat. He's still not very good at cooking. Like, he can't even pull off pastoroni. So, I'm actually pretty, in I'm kind of impressed with this. He did brown the, he did uh, blacken the sausage, though. It's delicious. So, 
Just had a nice hard workout. Get a bunch of good meats, good carbs right here. Eat this down, feel nice and good. Take a nap, wake up, feel like Superman. This is super food for Superman. Mm -hmm. Excellent.